Danielle, hi. Hi, it's, uh, it's Chandler. I'm fine. <clears throat> uh, listen, I don't know if you tried to call me because, uh, idiot that I am, I accidentally shut off my phone. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay, that's, that's, that's fine, that's great, okay. She's on the other line, she's gonna call me back. <laughs> she's on the other line, she's gonna call me back. She's on the other line, gonna call me back. Don't you have to pee? That's why I'm dancing. <laughs> nice camouflage, man. For a minute there, I almost didn't see you. Excuse me. Nah. Uh, is your name Chandler? Uh, yes, yes it is. Chandler Bing. Do you know me, or are you just really good at this game? I'm Susie Moss. Fourth grade, glasses. I used to carry around a box of animal crackers like a purse. Susie Moss? <laughs> right, yeah, wow. You look great job growing up. It's nice to see you're not still wearing that denim cap with all the little mirrors on it. Oh, right, yeah, well, I graduated fourth grade and realized I wasn't a pimp. <laughs> Remember the class play? You, you pulled up my skirt and the entire auditorium saw my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yes, back then I uh, used humor as a defense mechanism. Thank God I don't do that anymore. <laughs> if, if you're not Mary Angela, then, uh, then who is? I am. Oh, it's so bad. Joey! No, Joey! No, Joey! No, Joey! Joey! What's going on? You're it. Now run and hide. <laughs> it's no big deal. Chandler was just kissing me because he thought I was Mary Angela. What? How could you do that? How could you think she was Mary Angela? I wasn't sure which one Mary Angela was. <gasps> look, I'm sorry, okay? I was really drunk, and you guys all look really similar. I say punch him, Joey. Yeah! Yeah! Punch him! Yeah. No, you know what? We should all calm down because, you know, your brother's not going to punch me. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, that is usually what I would do, but I just never thought you'd be on the receiving end of it. How could you do this? Joey, if you want to punch me, go ahead. I deserve it. But I just want you to know that I would never soberly hurt you or your family. You're my best friend. Let me see. No, no, you have to see. Hi, Tushy. <laughs> All right. Why don't you give me your underpants? Oh, no, no, no. no. Can't help you. I'm not wearing any. How can you not be wearing any underwear? Oh, I'm getting heat from the guy in the hot pink thong. <laughs> All right, look, Ross, I'll give you $50 for your underpants. Hey. 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 <laughs> Kathy! Kathy! Hi! Kathy! Kathy! <laughs> I just want to say hey. Hey. Okay. You know, I uh, just thought I'd throw this out here. I'm no math whiz, but I do believe there are three girls and three guys right here. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't feel like kissing anyone tonight. Oh, I can't kiss anyone. So, so I'm kissing everyone? No, no, no. You can't kiss Ross, that's your brother. Oh, yeah, that's oh, perfect, perfect. So now everybody's gonna kiss but me. All right, somebody kiss me. Somebody oh, kiss me, it's midnight! Somebody kiss me, somebody kiss me, it's midnight! It's one time, all day! Yeah. You have really great hair. Oh, thanks, I grow it myself. Mmm. 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 You know who also has great hair is Joey. Yes, yeah, Joey has great hair. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm basically done here. <laughs> Let me just get this hair off your neck. <laughs> what, 
what you're doing. Checking to see if it's even. Okay. Looks good. Oh, it's the phone! The phone's making sounds! All right, look, you're not really gonna buy that, are you? Don't you think you embarrass me enough for one day? Oh, I embarrass you? How can I answer that when I'm pretending I don't know you? <laughs> He's just jealous. You'll fit right in. All Londoners wear them. Oh, really? Then how come no one here anywhere is wearing one? They're all tourists. <laughs> all right, look, if you insist on wearing that in public, you know, you're gonna spend the rest of the afternoon all by yourself. <laughs> Let me choose between you and the hat. I choose the hat. Good choice. Thanks. Okay, look. All right, that's it. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm not going to be embarrassed anymore. That's right, my friend. It's time for. Be watch. watch. <laughs> Can you believe they gave Stephanie skin cancer? I still can't believe they promoted her to lieutenant. Uh, you're just saying that because you're in love with Yasmin Bleat. Well, how could anyone not be in love with Yasmin Bleat? Hey, hey, they're running. See, this is the brilliance of the show. I say always keep them running. All the time running. Run. Run. Run, Yasmin, run like the wind. <laughs> Probably fertile. Let's go home. <laughs> Why are you here? Well, Sid and I are trying again, and we had trouble last time because apparently no, we. No, no, I mean, why? Why is she here? <laughs> oh, someone's a little cranky today because they have to do it in a cup. <laughs> oh, they gave you the kitty size. <laughs> what? This was fun, but I've got an invasive vaginal exam to get to. I'd love to stay, but I've uh, got a hot date. Please go. Just let me know if you need a hand. <laughs>
A little foos? Absolutely. What happened to the foosball? Ah, uh, it's a cantaloupe. <laughs> Okay, buddy boy, here it is. You hide my clothes, I'm wearing everything you own. Oh, my God! That is so not the opposite of taking somebody's underwear. Look at me, I'm Chandler. Could I be wearing any more clothes? Well, anyway, I gotta go change. I'm uh, meeting some of the cast for drinks. Excuse me? What? I stayed home from work today while you were at rehearsal so somebody could be here with our chick. Hey, who was up from 2 o'clock this morning until 5 o'clock this morning trying to get her back to sleep? You don't think I get up when you get up? Oh, here it comes. Yes, here it comes. I'm stuck here all day. And then you come in and spend two seconds with us and then expect to go off gallivanting with your friends? Well, I don't think so, mister. Hey, Rach, can I borrow your eyelash curler? I think I lost mine. Yeah, it's in the bathroom. Joey, can I talk to you for a second? Oh, 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 Yes. You? And, and you? Yes, but you cannot tell anyone. No one knows. How? When? It happened in London. In London? No, you know the reason we didn't tell anyone was because we didn't want to make a big deal out of it. But it is a big deal. I have to tell someone. No, 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 no. You can't. Please, please, we just don't want to deal with telling everyone, okay? Please, just promise you won't tell. All right. Man, this is unbelievable. I mean, it's great, but... I know it's great. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see that. You're upset because you think I chose Ross over you. No, I... Knew you could take care of yourself. You know, I mean, Ross, he needs help. He's not street like us. Well, what it comes down to is you would risk your life for Ross before you would for me. That's the bottom line. Well, no, not exactly. All right, look, I... I wasn't trying to save Ross, okay? My sandwich was next to Ross. <laughs> All right? I, w I was trying to save my sandwich. <laughs> From a bullet. I know it doesn't make much sense. But... Much sense? Look, Chandler, it was instinct, okay? I just went for it. So you risked your life for a sandwich. I know it sounds crazy, but Chandler, this is the greatest sandwich in the world. So you didn't uh, choose Ross before me? No. I would never do that. You, you, you're like my brother. Really? Yeah. Please tell me you got the message. What message? The actor playing Mac couldn't do it. They needed to see you at 2 o'clock. What? It's 6 o'clock. Go, 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 I, wrote, I wrote it on the board. I wrote it on the board, and then I went all over New York City looking for you. I went to Ross's. I went to the coffee house. I went to any place that they make sandwiches. I can't believe this, Chandler. Sorry, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you, you, you might say, congratulations. I saw the board, I went to the audition, I got the board! Is that supposed to be funny? I was really worried over here. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You know, sometimes that fake out thing is just mean. Oh, wow, okay, man, I'm sorry. I did not mean to make you feel bad. Well, that's good. Because you didn't, and I'm incredibly happy for you. <laughs> That's mean. You really had me going there. Oh, we could do this all day. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, look, listen. Let's talk about what a huge star I'm gonna be. You are gonna be a huge star. I'm gonna hug you. You hug me. All right. We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in the bonds of holy matrimony. 
I've known Monica and Chandler for a long time, and I cannot imagine two people more perfect for each other. And now, as I've left my notes in my dressing room, <laughs> we shall proceed to the vows. I miss this. I don't think we've actually done this before. <laughs> No, I, I miss hanging out with you. Well, we, we still hang out. Yeah, well, not like we used to. Remember, you and me used to be inseparable. You know, now it's like things are different. Well, you know, things are different. I'm, I'm married now. Yeah, sure. And hey, don't get me wrong. I am so happy for you guys. But I just, I miss hanging out, just, just us, you know? Yeah, I miss that too. Okay. I'll tell you what, for now on, we'll make time to hang out with each other. You got it. Come here. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a junior copywriter. Oh! oh congratulations! congratulations. Oh, sweet, I'm so proud of you. Does that mean I get the good loving tonight? <laughs> you bet. No TV or anything. Hey, that is so great about the job. Thanks, man. And I'd like to think I had a little something to do with it. Really? Why? Well, before with the wishbone, I, uh, I didn't wish we would win the lottery. I wished you'd get the job. Oh, yeah? Listen, don't tell Monica. She'll rip your heart right out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that you're okay with the house, do you want to go see your room? What? I get my own room? You don't think we'd buy a house and not have a Joey room, do you? Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, oh. Hey, can I have an aquarium and a sex swing? <laughs> no. Why not? I'll keep the tank clean. You miss these little guys. It was nice having birds around again. Hey, you know what? Maybe we should keep them here with you. What? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot going on right now. And plus, here, they'd have their own room. I could get a goose. <laughs> You know, I, I think you're set with the poultry. <laughs> Thanks, man. You hear that, you guys? You're gonna get to stay here. And, and it's good. You know, cause, uh, cause now you have a reason to come visit. I think there may be another reason. <laughs>